Hey everybody, Tristan here from Tristan's Hobbies. Today I have a very, very exciting video planned out for you guys. And it is something that I have not done in a long time, which is a review video. So today we're going to be reviewing something I've been waiting in the mail for so, so long. Like three days. Bruh. But uh, basically, as you can see, I have a Rubik's Cube with me, which is my only Rubik's Cube. And it's just a normal Rubik's brand. And it's not really good. Honestly, for like, for the purpose it has, it's okay. It's decent. But if you want to get competitive into speed cubing, this thing won't work. I mean, just look at the corner cutting on this thing. Just look at that. Why are we still here? You can't even do. Just you can't something. do nothing. You just do like Everybody that bites. little. There we go. And it's just like really loud, honestly. So when I first got it, I thought it was okay. Until I realized that there are so many other better cubes in the cubing industry. Which is why I have something that I have been waiting so long for. An upgrade. So we can get this garbage. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Out of here. <laughs> and bring something brand new. I got this from Amazon. Um, because it was cheaper, it didn't have to pay for shipping. Yeah. Otherwise, I highly recommend looking at the Cubicle or SpeedCubeShop.com. Those are really good brands uh, and websites to get really, really good cubes as well. And there's a lot of variety. But anyways, we're gonna open this up and let's see what we have. Alright guys, so now I've dissected our package and let's see what we get. Ooh. Here we have a GAN cube. Now a lot of you speed cubers may know what a GAN is. It's one of the best brands for speed cubing. Absolutely and uh, perfect. with really good cubes also comes uh, a little bit of a price. So I got this for around uh, 40 Canadian, around something like that. Um, but the reason is because even though I'm kind of a beginner at speed cubing, I decided to get a really good cube because I knew it was a hobby that I would love to get into. And if I started getting like cheaper cubes and building my way up to expensive cubes like this, I would actually spend more money and not use the bad cubes. Yeah. So this might as well just get one and use it forever. So here's my GAN cube. Super excited to open it. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So let's shake this open a bit. And pull out the bottom and pull out the lid. And boom. Yep, opened it up. Look at this packaging. It actually looks really, really nice. Like, everything fits well. Uh, and I'm super happy with it. So we have this little card here. Not sure what this really is. Doesn't really have a uh, meaning to it. But we have the more important stuff here. Look at this. So let's take the stuff out. So first of all, we have this little box, extra box inside a box with some mystery stuff. So let's open that later. But more importantly, we have our GAN cube right here. Look at that. It's even got like this hard shell case. Oh my god, it looks super, super good. Wow, I'm so happy I bought this. So if you guys may or may not know what this is, this is a 356M light cube, which is uh, a magnetic GAN cube, which is pretty new. It came out in like 2020, I think. And I've heard a lot of reviews about how good it is. Uh, and you can see that the colors are also the new colors with the um, matte texture to it. And uh, it also has a lot of things going for it that I have yet to explore. So why don't we quickly open this up and see what's inside. But before we get there, why don't we look at this mystery box to see what is in here. So let's open it up. Ah, exactly what I expected. So we've got the instructions manual right here. I hope you can read Chinese. <laughs> and then we have this. Ooh, I'm so happy about this. This is a cube pouch and it's like nice and felty. And you know, it feels really good. So I think I'll keep this. I'll like it very much. Anyways, let's get into the cube now.
What the f Alright guys, first turn. Oh my god. That feels so weird. That feels so weird because it's got magnets in it. You can see here, there's a, there's a magnet there. And you can see that they are the yellow magnets, which I think are medium strength magnets. And they feel so nice because look, look at this turning. It falls exactly in line because of the magnets. That feels so nice. And it's also so quiet, man. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I can't get over this. It feels really loose in my hands as well. Alright guys, cube is now scrambled, so let's solve this in three, two, one, go. Oh my god, this feels so weird. The colors feel super weird. And the sound is so quiet. It just, it feels alien to me, honestly. But I love it. This is orange and blue. Perfect. The colors are like super bright. It's really easy to see them. But some people might find it annoying at first. Personally, I love it. Okay, green to red, blue to orange, okay, and second layer is solved. Oh, something went wrong with the second layer. Uh-oh. Oh wait, this isn't solved actually. Dang it. Okay, now second layer is solved. And now we've got to get a yellow cross again. Okay, yellow cross acquired. Nope, nope, yep. Okay. Oh my god, this feels super weird. Help! <laughs> it feels super light. Hmm. Okay. This is super slow, actually. I'm going super slow because I'm not used to the cube. But also, because I messed up twice. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> Oh, oops, okay, there we go. That took way too long to solve. Oh my god. I'll put the time of that onto the screen right now. So overall, first impressions of this entire set. So, so happy with this purchase, man. I just really like that the price is pretty nice, especially for GanCube. And the feeling of it is like really pro. You can... You can tell this is a speed cube. Uh, and overall, magnet strength is perfect for me. I like the ability to adjust the tension and the uh, stability of my cube. And uh, I think that I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And I highly suggest that if you're getting into speed cubing, even if you're a beginner, that you buy something nice like this GAN cube. Because if you keep buying a $5 and then you get a $10 and a $15 and then you get this $40 one, then honestly, you're spending way too much money for just one or two cubes that you're actually going to use. Because I'm only going to be using this one, so I'm only going to be spending $40. But if you get a bad cube and then get a good cube, you're not going to use that bad cube, but you still spent that money even if it was cheap. So I think that I made the right decision here 
and I highly suggest that you too make the same decision. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and found it interesting or you found it educational or anything at all, just enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and drop any comments down below. I'll leave a description to this product uh, down in the description as well. So if you want to buy it, you can go check it out there. Make sure to share this with your friends and drop any comments down below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Later!